this condition which I have makes me feel ashamed. Sometimes I'm disappointed in myself and I have low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. He asked me, Mom, I, why am I different with other boys? And I didn't have an answer. He asked me, why is this happening to me? And I've been good all these years. He asked me so many questions that even others have forgotten. Mm -hmm. My name is Lilian Alango. Mm -hmm. I come from Siaya Bardin location, mm -hmm. but currently I live in Pipeline, Embakasi. I'm a single mother, but I didn't choose to be a single mother. Mm -hmm. It was out of situationship. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that even though I face so many difficulties, there is no day I, I ever thought of doing abortion. Mm -hmm. I just told God that, God, you gave me this baby and I'll strive as a, a woman to make sure that this lady, baby gets life. Mm -hmm. Even though when we can go to the street, we will go with him, but I'll never terminate. I thank God. It has been 15 years mm -hmm. of joy. Mm -hmm. Denzel has brought light in my darkness because he's so bubbly. Mm -hmm. He normally tells me many stories. When I'm with him, I feel like I have my parents. We have spent many challenges like being thrown out of the house, but we have never slept with an angry stomach. I really appreciate God for that. And that gave me the courage to go on and to press on to life. Mm -hmm. I'm Denzel. I'm 15 years of age. I pipeline my mom. She's very hardworking. She loves me and I love her too. Up to 2017, when the unimaginable happened to the life of Denzel, Denzel started to grow big boobs like a, a girl who is in puberty stage. And it really hurt me because he changed emotionally, physically. Everything changed in him. And remember, this was the only light I had in my life. I felt as if the world should crack. And I go down to the deep, but I show her on like a mother. In life, I aspire to be a, a professional footballer, and uh, this condition which I have makes me feel ashamed. Sometimes I'm disappointed in myself, and I have low self-esteem. It was in 2017 when I was in primary, but they were still small. And my friends told me it is normal. But reaching 2018, they started enlarging. So that's when I realized. Mm -hmm. He asked me, Mom, I, why am I different with other boys? And I didn't have an answer. He asked me, why is this happening to me? And I've been good all these years. He asked me so many questions that even others have forgotten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never even knew that when boys are going to puberty, something of that kind can happen. It reached a time he was telling me, Mom, take me to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not like other boys. I tried to cancel Denzel and to tell him that I, I really wish to take you, my dear son. It's only that I've consulted doctors but they have said the only solution to your problem is surgery. Mm -hmm. I've been even cautioned not to be cheated by anyone to buy for you some tablets that will reduce those boobs. Mm -hmm. So it is better we just wait on God mm -hmm. 
and do the right thing. I was doing this because Denzel is the only person I have. It's the only property I have in this world. I didn't want anything that can hurt him. I really love him very much. In that year of uh, 2018, something happened in my life. I lost my job and uh, I was chased out. I was, the, the door was closed and my things were removed outside. So I was homeless. And remember, I didn't have an option of going back home because my home, we buried my parents over 20 years ago. Even the house that was there has collapsed. So my home is like a, a, a bush. So I was just outside there thinking, but I, I, didn't, I didn't think too much about where we are going because I didn't have any coin. So I just called this friend of mine, he's called Esther. Mm -hmm. Esther, wherever you are, if you happen to see this clip, know that you really touched my heart. You sent me on time. Without Esther, my kid could have not sat for KCP. I just called him and shared with him a little bit and he said, Lillian, I'm willing to help you bring that kid to Homer Bay. I'm just a teacher, I'm teaching lower classes, mm. but I have three kids. Mm. But whatever my kids will be eating, will eat. I will divide, your son will also eat. Mm. Because when you leave that kid, that kid will end up being stressed. Just leave him to do class eight and we see how mm. he's going to mm. perform. Mm. Esther, I really thank you, I have never paid you, but I normally, pray for you that may God may God bless you abundantly for that act of human that you chose to do for me so every day when I go to practice with my friends I wear heavy jackets big jackets of big people and and when I train with them they usually they usually tell me to remove it but I usually say I'm okay but I'm not okay, and I feel very hot. And, if I, and even if I'm a good player, I don't feel good when I'm not free, because they are free with themselves. So they usually ask every time, why, why? But I tell them, just let's play, I'm good. But I'm usually not good. Mm -hmm. So even in school, most of my friends ask why I don't remove my sweater. But. I ignore them and I usually feel bad. Mm. So I just want somebody to help me mm. because there is no footballer in this world who wears jackets in the field. And I know I have, I have a place there in the big leagues mm -hmm. and I know I won't play with a jacket. Mm. So me, I just want to live a life like the others mm. so that I can pursue my career so that I can feel good even wearing a shirt. Mm -hmm. I don't know the last time even I had a vest. I don't know if I, even if I have a vest back mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So me, I just want somebody to help me and I'll feel very good and happy. Mm -hmm. Wearing t-shirt or tight clothes is something that is a gone story. Mm -hmm. He wears baggy t-shirts, big jackets, and to me like a mother, I feel that he's not smart with those baggy things. Mm -hmm. But I cannot tell him to remove them because this thing we have kept it a very secret. Mm -hmm. Not even my siblings know about it mm -hmm. because I, I was doing this to make sure that this, the, the, the confidence is not interfered with. Mm -hmm. So after that is when I went to Dr. Google and I found out that it is something that normally happens but it is a condition that can be corrected. Mm -hmm. So after that I came with the, those facts and uh, I sat him down and I told him that don't worry, one day, one time, this thing will be like a history. Mm -hmm. And I thank God. Mm -hmm. He also told me that, mom, don't worry, even right now, I'm see I'm used to them. But I told him, me, I know one day, one time, mm -hmm. you will have a flat chest mm -hmm. and you will play football with the vest the way others do. Mm -hmm. 
because I know those jackets are really, really hot, especially when they are playing during sunny days. Mm -hmm. And he has to soldier around with the jackets, even if he's sweating, he has to wear those jackets mm -hmm. because he does not want other boys to know this condition. I, I really feel bad mm -hmm. and uh, I, hope, I hope my situation will change mm -hmm. and I'll be how my friends are mm -hmm. because there's no one I've ever met in my life who has this condition. Mm -hmm. My first job, I worked with a lawyer and uh, that job, I, I have a problem, I don't know. When I get a good job that I'm being paid on time, it always just end without me, without notice. That is the only job that I did for three years, even though they were paying me little, but I felt so good working. I have a diploma in purchasing and supplies. I did an internship job for one year, so I have experience. Anyone who has that vacancy anywhere can help me because right now, where I was working as a messenger due to this pandemic of coronavirus, uh, everything just went quiet. I was not even told that the job is not there, but everybody just went. The company is closed. So I've been just juggling here and there doing anything to make sure that I put food on the table for Denzel because the facts remain that he's a child, he needs to eat. Right now, now we are just focusing on food. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Even last month, I was unable to pay this house. Mm. How much do you pay? 550. Mm. And they even uh, disconnected my electricity. Mm. But I thank God, there's a friend who came in for me and he was able to pay for me for last month. That's 5,050 shillings? 5,500. 5,500 mm. shillings. Mm. I'm appealing to well-wishers who will watch this story mm. that uh, if you can sponsor my son so that he can have the surgery of the breast so that he can be able to have flat chest like other boys, mm. This is the message I have for you, Denzel. Know wherever you are that you were never a mistake in my life. Know that you are the light that make me. You are the reason why I work hard. And I know that one day our story will end with joy and laughter. And one day we will have a home. My mom, I love her. She continue working hard and I promise not to I want to disappoint her, mm. and I know we'll have a good life. Mm -hmm.